for your interest in San Francisco's historic Fairmont Hotel. The Fairmont is one of the city's most notable landmarks, a European-style palace located at San Francisco's most prestigious address, Knob Hill. Like the cable cars and the Golden Gate Bridge, the Fairmont is quintessential San Francisco. Since its opening in 1907, the hotel has been a key part of the fabric and culture of the city. It has also been known for years as the place to be in the city, hosting the world's greatest statesmen and celebrities. Today, it is still the place to be, with some of the best views in the city, award-winning restaurants, and a reputation for superior guest service. For the next few minutes, we are going to show you around the hotel and tell you a bit more about the amenities we offer. First, let's start with a little more about the hotel's rich history to give you some insight into all that has happened between these walls. The Fairmont's unique place in San Francisco history begins with the devastation of the 1906 earthquake. Amazingly, one of the only buildings left standing, the hotel became the command center for city officials battling the Great Fire. Several days later, the hotel's magnificent interior was destroyed by the blaze, but its owners were not defeated. They managed to reopen just one year later and threw a huge party to celebrate. This really was San Francisco's ability to embrace and put their arms around the opening of this property as a rebirth of San Francisco. We've been since then uh, recognized as the White House of the West with every president since Harry S. Truman being here. We've had numerous films made here because it is such a tremendous destination and an icon within San Francisco. When people are shooting here, they want to shoot San Francisco. And what really, when you think of San Francisco, you think of the Golden Gate Bridge, you think of Fisherman's Wharf, you think about the Fairmont Hotel. Originally designed by architect Julia Morgan, the Fairmont looks today almost exactly as it did when it opened in 1907. Over the years, it went through many transformations, but a recent $85 million restoration exposed the original marble floors, recreating the hotel's classic design and restoring the Laurel Court with its three ornate domes to its original grandeur. We're a very grand hotel with a very, very San Francisco flavor. And it's not a property that could be transported um, to another city. We are San Francisco, and we speak a, a lot about San Francisco's past. And you get that feeling when you walk around inside the hotel. I've got the car coming to pick you up at about 545. Okay. To tell you about guest service, we must first introduce you to Tom Wolf. That is, if you haven't already met him. Tom is the chief concierge, fluent in English, French, Spanish, and Japanese. Tom and his staff are a key part of the enjoyment of every Fairmont guest. In 1973, when I came here, there was no concierge uh, in America at all. So I kind of uh, brought the idea not only to San Francisco and to the Fairmont, but to the United States. My idea was to make a one-stop shopping for the guest. You can call me on the telephone, tell me what you need, or even stop by my desk and tell me what you need, and it'll be done. And uh, I've had guests who will come up to me and say, uh, I want tickets for the opera tonight. Would you please take my car back to the rental company? And while you're at it, uh, my wife's shoe needs to be repaired. That's just a normal day for us. And that's, I think, what brings people here, that they know that they can come here and have their needs seen to. In-room dining and valet services are open 24 hours a day, and in addition to regular morning maid service, the hotel provides turndown service in the evening. Every guest room is equipped with two phones and two phone lines to enable you to connect to the internet and receive calls simultaneously. There's also a fax machine in every room and a full-service business center to take care of any additional needs. If you're planning a meeting or social function, there is 55,000 square feet of meeting space, including banquet rooms and a large ballroom, which can accommodate anywhere from 10 to 2,500 people. We've been doing business since 1907. We're not somebody that is going away in a year. We plan on being here well into the next millennium. And when you have that attitude as an establishment, you are looking after the next time you're going to have somebody come through the door. We're not looking to have someone here once. We're looking to have you be so overwhelmed with, the, with not just the beauty of the physical property, which it is, and not just the location and the history and tradition of it, 
but also the service and the smiles at the front desk and at the door. We really attempt to deliver the full product to people from service to the physical property and make it a memorable event and that's what we've been doing since 1907. I fortunately do get a lot of people who come to me and say thank you so much we were so well taken care of while we were here we enjoyed every minute of our stay and I always make sure that I give a business card to those people and say well, you're still going to be taken care of even after you go back home because if you suddenly have the urge for sourdough bread you're going to pick up the phone and call me and I will send it to you. Once you've become a guest of the Fairmont, you're a guest for life, as far as I'm concerned. One of the greatest pleasures of a stay at the Fairmont is the wonderful restaurants that are just a few steps from your room. Known for its renowned afternoon tea, as well as breakfast and lunch, the Laurel Court is right off the lobby and serves an innovative selection of French-inspired cuisine in a beautiful setting. In the afternoon and evening, guests can enjoy a beautiful cocktail lounge with live music and a warm, relaxed atmosphere. And for a really unique experience, the Tonga Room on the terrace level is a fun night out. The tropical restaurant serves Asian cuisine nightly for dinner and features a lagoon where a band performs amidst periodic thunder and rainstorms. The Tonga Room has been a favorite of San Franciscans for years with a very popular happy hour buffet, so reservations are recommended. And if all that great food has motivated you to take a trip to the club, there's a state-of-the-art Club One Health Club and Spa located on the terrace level of the main building. Besides aerobics, yoga, and spinning classes, you can also work out with a personal trainer or just do your own thing. Club One is available to Fairmont guests seven days a week. Don't worry about bringing towels. It's all provided at the club. For almost a century, the Fairmont Hotel has stood atop Knob Hill as a San Francisco landmark, a symbol of the city's style, class, and elegance. We're so pleased you're considering the Fairmont San Francisco for your event, and we'd like to do whatever we can to help you as you make your plans. So please, contact us directly should you have any questions. We at the Fairmont San Francisco thank you for watching and look forward to speaking with you soon.